Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashmi Ashai Bashim Kakodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the hopeful elect brothers that's doing the work of the Lord in sincerity and truth, and that's uplifting the name of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. Now, in this lesson, I'm gonna go into um, another topic that's that's uh, based off of uh, this this false teaching and lie that's being spread in Israel, saying that the Most High and His Son are the same beings, that they're the same entity, that they're the same person, which is a lie. That will never be the truth, because because the Most High, Yahweh made his son Yahweh Shai and then Yahweh Shai made the Yahweh Shai made the angels the powers the Halahayim <clears throat> and then Yahweh Shai and the powers by the blueprint and the instructions from the Most High made everything else they made the heavens and the earth you know they made they made everything in existence, right? By order of the Most High. You know, they made the heavens and the earth. They made, uh, uh, they made the planets, you know, the galaxies. They made the people, the animals, right? That's all done by Yahweh Bashami al Shai. You know, the heavens and the earth were made by Yahweh Shai. By Yahweh Shai and the powers, by the blueprint of the Most High Yahweh, and when the Lord was on the scene when He was on Earth two thousand years ago, you know He had to be made a sacrifice for this for the sins of the nation of Israel. You know this was the f final uh, final sacrifice. Of sins for the nation of Israel to for for us to be brought back to the Most High, and that's through the blood of Yahweh Shai. Right, and then after that happened, you know he he uh, he received a he received an award a reward and a glory, you know in the heavens. You know after after he was raised from raised from the dead. You know he he uh he got rewarded f for what he went through because the Lord had spiritual. Let me get that. This is John chapter 15 and 30. Salakia. Matthew chapter 15 and 30. And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Yahweh's feet, and he healed them. So... Those that were lame, right? Lame meaning you couldn't walk. Lame. Limping, crippled. You know, you couldn't walk properly. Blind, you can't see. Dumb. Uh, dumb meaning you can't speak. Maimed. Maimed goes into uh you know the loss of limbs you know you, you know disabled injured crooked you know you're 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 missing limbs 
you know, like these war veterans, when they come back from war, you know, they're missing an arm or a leg. You know, that's what Maimed is going into. And many others, and cast them down at Yahweh Shai's feet, and he healed them. So, so Yahweh Shai, you know, he was doing uh, great works when he was on the earth. You know, around 2,000 years ago. Right? Now, let me get back to... Salakia. Let me get back to it. Yeah, so, everything... Uh, everything was given... Satan yeah, yeah so everything was uh, uh everything was given to Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai right now is over all the angels he's over Satan you know he's over all the demons he's all he's over everything you know in the universe Except for the Most High, and now let me go into it because I missed my train of thought. This is this is Ephesians chapter one and nineteen. It says. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe, you see I have faith in Yahweh Bashim Shai, according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Yahweh Shai, which the Most High wrought in Yahweh Shai, when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places so the most high raised Yahweh Shai from the dead so so the most high raised Yahweh Shai from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places so 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 the most high raised Yahweh Shai from the dead and then he set him at his right hand, you know, in the heavens and the spirit world. He's Yahweh Shai's second in command under the Most High himself. So, so that's the order right there. You have the Most High, Yahweh Shai. The Most High, so like you have the Most High, then you have Yahweh Shai. And then you have man and then you have woman. Right? Far above... All principality and and power. The principality is going to the order of a uh, of a uh, of a uh, of uh, of a uh, so like a different orders of spirits and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth in all, fulleth all in all. So it says, so it says here that. The Mosai put Yahweh Shai over all principality, power, might, dominion. You know, he, the Mosai put Yahweh Shai over all things because, because he deserves it. First of all, he's the only begotten son of the Mosai. He's the only spirit <laughs> that the Mosai actually created. 
And then the Most High gave the instruction of Yahweh Shai to make everything else. So, so Yahweh Shai is precious. Yahweh Shai is precious unto the Most High. You know, all you have to say. You know, the Most High, Salaka, Yahweh Shai is very precious and dear unto the Most High. And look at what Yahweh Shai had to go through, you know, to receive the glory. Damn. Look at what Yahweh Shai had to go through to receive his glory. You know, to be to be put second in command over everything, you know, in existence. He had to go through suffering, pain, humiliation. His own people came against him. His own people wanted to put him to death. When you, he was just bringing them the truth. You know? It says, And hath put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Which is his body, the fullness of him, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. So, so Yahweh Shai is ahead of everything in his, the second command of everything in existence, and he's ahead of the church. He's ahead of, uh, he's ahead of Israel, right? He's ahead of the nation of Israel. He's a king of kings, he's the Lord of lords, and he's ahead of the church. So that's why when you go to, Go, go to 1 Corinthians 11 and 3 it says but I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Yahweh Shai is the Most High so that's the order you have the Most High you have Yahweh Shai right under him and under Yahweh Shai you have the man and then under man you have the woman Right, that's the that's the order. So Yahweh Shai is second in command over everything. Everything, just say that all things, everything. You know, you have the Most High, and then you have Yahweh Shai, and this is true. Now, let me go to. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 13. Daniel chapter 7 and 13 says, Daniel chapter 7 and 13 says, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like unto the Son of Man, the Son of Man is Yahweh Shai. One like unto the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days and they wrought him near before him. The Ancient of Days is the Most High and the Son of Man is Yahweh Shai. They're two separate beings, two separate entities. Right? They're not the same. They're not the same person. They're not the same being. That's some madness, you know, a false teaching that, that, that's in the world. And it's very bugged out. It's very much bugged out. It's not right. Now, let me, let me stop it right there. Let me go to Acts. Let me go to Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1 verse 9 says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and the cloud received him out of their sight. And the cloud is talking about the chariots. Today they, you know, uh, um, it's known as so-called UFOs, unidentified uh, flying objects. And... Yeah, uh, the, you know, that, that's, that's what they call them today. You know, they call them UFOs today. And they changed them recently, a few years ago, to, to, 
to to UAPs. They changed they changed they changed it to unidentified aerial phenomenon. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. That means he was brought up into the cloud. You know, today you will call it today you would call that a tractor beam. That's what they call it today, a tractor beam. And the cloud received them out of their sight. That means he was taken up into the chariot, you know, by a by a so-called tractor beam, by a beam of light that comes down and it takes up uh and it uh takes up, you know, whatever the light shines over. And that's what happened to the Lord. That's what happened to Yahweh Shai. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Now these are two angels, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? You know, the angels, the angels are our brothers because the angels... They're also Israelites, but they're Israelites just in the spirit world. You know, the angels are uh, so-called black men, you know, with afros and beards, you know. And uh, and they do the will of the Most High. They do the will of, of, of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. While also said, Salakia, which also said, Ye men of Galilee... Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Why are you looking? Why are you why are you looking up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner, as ye have seen him go into heaven. Right. So the same way how you see Yahweh Shai taken up, you know, into the chariot, into the so-called UFO, and then. You know, they, they went into the spirit world before the Most High, which is the Ancient of Days. Is the same way how, you know, the Father, Yahweh, is going to give the word to Yahweh Shai to make his second return back to earth to deliver the elect of Israel, of his so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, the prophets, you know, the elect and the one-third. And, you know, uh, uh, destroy uh, the so-called the, the so white man's rulership. And, he, and he's going to be king on earth. You know, he's going to take all these nations out of rulership and he's going to begin his kingdom, which is the kingdom of heaven. And the elect is going to be joint heirs unto him. So, 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 so Yahweh Shai went up into a chariot and then he went to the Father in the spirit world. It's the same way how he's going to come back down. That's, that's what the angels, that's what the angels was, was explaining to, 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 to his disciples. Now, let me go back to Daniel chapter 7. Now, this is the continuation of that. When the Lord went up, you know, in Acts that we just read, Daniel chapter 7, verse 13. Now, Yahweh Shah went before the Most High, and that's the spirit world, meaning there are two separate spirits, two separate beings, two different entities. Yahweh Shai, the son, does the will of his father, Yahweh. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like unto the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. The clouds are the chariots of the Lord, which you call them so-called UFOs today. And the UFO, the so-called UFOs are spiritual vehicles. You know, they could go millions of miles per hour and stop at the drop of a dime. They could expand into a planet. They could expand into the size of a planet, and they could shrink down to the size of an atom. You know, they 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 defy the laws of physics of this reality because they're not from this dimension. They're not from this. They're not from this reality. They're from the spirit world, and came to the ancient of days, which is the Most High, and they brought him near before him, 
and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. And his dominion is an everlasting dominion, meaning it, it won't end. When Yahweh Shai begins his reign on earth, when he takes down the so-called white men out of power, start, you know, starting with these, uh, these elite uh, banking families, the, 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 uh, the, the top and the heads of the Edomite uh, nation, you know, his reign is going to be forever. His kingdom won't end like all the other kingdoms of the earth. You had the, the uh, Babylonian Empire, the Persian and Medes Empire, the Greek Empire, the Roman Empire. You know, those, those had a time limit, but the Lord's kingdom, you know, the, the, the kingdom of heaven, which is the reign of the Lord and the Israelites, would will last forever. His dominion, his dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, that which shall not, and his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. That means no heathen nation is going to rise up out of nowhere and rebel against the Lord, and 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 uh, and uh, somehow fall to another nation because. The elect is going to have spiritual power. It's going to be a nation of kings and priests because when the, when the elect gets delivered by Shai, our bodies are going to be changed into perfect bodies. Went out, we're going to have spiritual powers. We're going to be gods on earth. So no mortal is going to be able to fight against a god. You know? And also, the prophecy in, the prophecy in Ezekiel says that that uh that after after World War Three, you know, and and uh, and uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, gets these uh, gets these heathens. That they're gonna burn all the weapons, you, you know, they're gonna burn all the weapons and what's left over after the destruction of uh, Babylon the Great and after the land of Israel, the land of Israel is destroyed, but. The land of Israel is going to be built up again, but Babylon the Great um, is going to is going to stay a desert forever. The Lord is going to make these heathens burn all the weapons, so there's not going to be any way for them to rise up against God, anyone, much less the gods on earth. And you know that's the end of the lesson. Lord willing, it was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yashai, Bashem Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Mosul. Shalom.